Alfred Nobel. Alfred Bernhard Nobel, 21 October 1833, 10 December 1896, was a Swedish chemist, engineer, innovator, and armaments manufacturer. He was the inventor of dynamite. Nobel also owned Bofforts, which he had redirected from its previous role as a primarily an iron and steel producer to a major manufacturer of cannon and other armaments. Nobel held 355 different patents, dynamite being the most famous one. After reading a premature obituary which condemned him for profiting from the sales of arms, he bequeathed his fortune to institute the Nobel Prizes. The synthetic element nobelium was named after him. His name also survives in modern-day companies such as Dynamit Nobel and Axa Nobel, which are descendant of mergers with companies Nobel himself established. Life and Career Born in Stockholm, Alfred Nobel was the fourth son of Emmanuel Nobel 1801-1872, an inventor and engineer and Carolina Andriette Achelzell Nobel, 1805-1889. The couple married in 1827 and had eight children. The family was impoverished and only Alfred and his three brothers survived past childhood. Toward his father, Alfred Nobel was the descendant of the Swedish scientist Olaus Rubdeck. and his turn the boy was interested in engineering, particularly explosives, learning the basic principle from his father at young age. Alfred Nobel's interest in technology was inherited from his father, an alumnus of Royal Institute of Technology in Stockholm, Sweden. Following various business failures, Nobel father moved to St. Petersburg in 1837 and grew successful there as a manufacturer of machine tools and explosives. He invented modern plywood and started work on the torpedo. In 1842, the family joined himself in the city. Now prosperous, his parents were able to send Nobel to private tutors, and the boy excelled in his studies, particularly in chemistry and languages, achieving fluency in English, French, German, and Russian. For 18 months, from 1841 to 1842, Nobel went to the only school he ever attended as a child, the Jacobs Apologistic School in Stockholm, Sweden. As a young man, Nobel studied with chemist Nikolai Zinin, then in 1850 went to Paris for further work. There he met Ascanio Sabrero, who had invented nitroglycerin three years before. Sabrera strongly opposed the use of nitroglycerin as it was unpredictable, exploding when subjected to head or pressure. But Nobel became interested in finding a way to control the use of nitroglycerin as a commercially usable explosive, and it had much more power than hand powder. At age of 18, he went to the United States for four years to study chemistry, collaborating for a short period under inventor John Erickson, who designed American Civil War ironclad USS Monitor. Nobel filed his first patent, an English patent for a gas meter, in 1857, while his first Swedish patent, which he received in 1863, was on ways to prepare gunpowder. The family factory produced armaments for the Crimean War, 1853-1856, but had difficulty switching back to regular domestic production when the fighting ended and they filed for bankruptcy. In 1859, Nobel's father left his factory in the care of the second son, Ludwig Nobel, 1831-1888, who greatly improved the business. Nobel and his parents returned to Sweden from Russia, and Nobel devoted himself to studies of explosives and especially to the safe manufacture and use of nitroglycerin discovered in 1847 by Ascanio Sabrero, one of his fellow students under Theopil Jules Pelose at the University of Paris in France. 
Nobel invented a detonator in 1863, and in 1865 he designed the blasting cap. On 3 September 1864, a shed used for the preparation of nitroglycerin exploded at the factory in Helenborg, Stockholm, killing five people, including Nobel's younger brother Emil. Dogged by more minor accident but unfazed, Nobel went to the build further factories focusing on improving the stability of the explosives he was developing. Nobel invented dynamite in 1867, a substance easy and safer to handle than more unstable nitroglycerin. Dynamite was patented in the US and the UK and was used extensively in mining and the building of transport networks internationally. In 1875, Nobel invented gelignite, more stable and powerful than dynamite, and in 1887 patented ballistite, a predecessor of cardit. Nobel was elected a member of the Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences in 1884, the same institution that would later select laureates for two of the Nobel Prizes, and he received the honorary degree from Uppsala University in 1893. Nobel's brother Ludwig and Robert exploited oil fields along the Caspian Sea and became hugely rich in their own right. Nobel invested in this and amazed great wealth throughout the development of these new oil regions. During his life, Nobel issued 355 patents internationally, and by his death, his business had established more than 90 armaments factories despite his belief in pacifism. In 1888, the death of his brother Ludwig caused several newspapers to publish obituaries to of Alfred in error. A French obituary stated, Le Marchand de la Mort est mort, the merchant of death is dead. dead. Accused of high treason against France for selling ballistite to Italy, Nobel moved from Paris to San Remo, Italy in 1891. On December 10, 1896, Alfred Nobel succumbed to a lingering heart ailment, suffered a stroke and died. Unbeknownst to his family, friends or colleagues, he had left most of his wealth in trust in order to find the award that would become known as the Nobel Prizes. He is buried in Nora Begrandwinsplatzen in Stockholm, Sweden. Personal life. Throughout baptism and confirmation, Alfred Nobel was Lutheran and during his Paris years he regularly attended the Church of Sweden abroad, led by Pastor Nathan Thuderblom, who would in 1930 also be a recipient of the Nobel Peace Prize. Nobel traveled for much of his business life, maintaining companies in various countries in Europe and North America, and keeping a permanent home in Paris from 1873 to 1891. He remained a solitary character given to periods of depression. Toad Nobel remained unmarried. His biographers note that he had at least three loves. Nobel's first love was in Russia with a girl named Alexandra, who rejected his proposal. In 1876, after a Bohemian countess Berta Kinsky became Alfred Nobel's secretary, but after only a brief stay, she left him to marry her previous lover, Baron Arthur Gundekar von Sutner. Told her personal contacts with Alfred Nobel had been brief, she corresponded with him until his death in 1896. And it is believed that she was a major influence in his decision to include a peace prize among those prizes provided in his will. Bertha von Suttner was awarded in 1905 Nobel Peace Prize for her sincere peace activities. Nobel's third and longest lasting relationship was with Sophie Hess from Vienna, whom he met in 1876. The lesson lasted for 18 years. After his death, according to his biographers Evlanov, Fleur, 
and found Nobel's letter were locked within the Nobel Institute in Stockholm. They were released only in 1955 to be included with other biographical data. Despite the lack of formal secondary and tertiary level education, Nobel gained proficiency in six languages – Swedish, French, Russian, English, German, and Italian. He also developed sufficient literary skills to write poetry in English. His Nemesis, a prose tragedy in four acts about Beatrice Sensi, partly inspired by Percy Bysshe Shelley's The Sensi, was printed while he was dean. The entire stock, except for three copies, was destroyed immediately after his death, being regarded as scandalous and blasphemous. The first surviving edition, bilingual Swedish Esperanto, was published in Sweden in 2003. The play has been translated into Slovenian via the Esperanto version and into French. In 2010, he, it was published in Russia in another bilingual Russian Esperanto edition. Inventions Nobel found that when nitroglycerin was incorporated in an absorbent inert substance like diatomaceous earth, it became safer and more convenient to handle, and this mixture he patented in 1867 as a dynamite. Nobel demonstrated his explosive for the first time that year at a quarry in Redhill, Surrey, England. In order to help re-establish his name and improve the image of his business from the early controversies associated with the dangerous explosives, Nobel had also considered naming the highly powerful substance Nobel Safety Powder, but settled with dynamite instead, referring to the Greek word for power. Nobel later on combined nitroglycerin with various nitrocellulose compounds similar to the collodion, but settled on a more difficult, more efficient recipe combining another nitrate explosive and obtaining a transparent jelly-like substance which was a more powerful explosive than dynamite. Gelignite or blasting gelatin, as it was named, was patented in 1876 and was followed by a host of similar combinations modified by the addition of potassium nitrate and various other substances. Gelignite was more stable, transportable, and conveniently formed to fit into bored holes like those used in drilling and mining than the previously used compounds and was adopted as the standard technology for mining in the age of engineering, bringing Nobel a great amount of financial success, towed at a significant cost to his health. An offshoot of his research resulted in Nobel's invention of ballistite, the precursor of many modern smokeless powder explosives and still used as a rocket propellant. Nobel Prizes. In 1888, Alfred brother Ludwig died while visiting Kant in a French newspaper erroneously published Alfred's obituary. It condemned him for his invention of dynamite and is said to have brought about his decision to leave a better legacy after his death. The obituary stated, Le Marchand de la Mort est mort, the merchant of death is dead, and went on to say Dr. Alfred Nobel, who became rich by finding ways to kill more people faster than ever before, died yesterday. Alfred, who never had a wife or children, was disappointed with that, what he read and concerned with how he would be remembered. On 27 November 1895, at the Swedish Norwegian Club in Paris, Nobel signed his last will and testament and set aside the bulk of his estate to establish the Nobel Prizes, to be awarded annually without distinction of nationality. After taxes and bequests to individuals, 
Nobel will allocate 94% of his total assets, 31,225,000 Swedish crowns to establish the five Nobel Prizes. This converted to 1,687,837 Great Britain pounds at the time. In 2012, the capital was worth around 3.1 billion Swedish kronas or 472 million US dollars or 337 million euros, which is almost twice the amount of initial capital taking inflation into account. The first three of these prizes I awarded for eminence in physical science, in chemistry, and in medical science of psychology. The fourth is for literary work in an ideal direction, and the fifth prize is to be given to the person or society that renders the greatest service to the cause of international fraternity in the suppression of reduction of standing armies, or in the establishment of fatherland of peace congresses. The formulation for the literary prize being given for a work in an ideal direction is cryptic and has caused much confusion. For many years the Swedish Academy interpreted ideal as idealistic and used it as a reason not to give the prizes to important but less romantic authors such as Henrik Ibsen or Leo Tolstoy. This interpretation has since been revised and the prize has been awarded to, for example, Dario Fo and Jos Saramago, who do not belong to the camp of literary idealism. There was room for interpretation by the bodies he had named for deciding on the physical sciences and chemistry prizes, given that he had not consulted them before making the will. In his one-page testament, he stipulated that the money go to discoveries or inventions in the physical sciences or to discoveries or in improvements in chemistry. He had opened the door to technological awards, but had not left instructions on how to deal with the distinction between science and technology, since the deciding bodies he had chosen were more concerned with the former, the prizes went to scientists more often than engineers, technicians, or other inventors. In 2001, Alfred Nobel's great-great nephew, Peter Nobel, born 1931, asked the Bank of Sweden to differentiate its award to economists given in Alfred Nobel's memory from the five other awards. This request added to the controversy over whether the Bank of Sweden Prize in Economic Sciences in memory of Alfred Nobel is actually a legitimate Nobel Prize. Monuments. The monument to Alfred Nobel, Russian Pamiatnik Alfredo Nobelu, in St. Petersburg is located along the Bolshaya Nevka River on Petrogradskaya embankment. It was dedicated in 1991 to mark the 19th anniversary of the first Nobel Prize presentation. Diplomat Thomas Bertelmann and Professor Arkady Milua, initiators of creation of the monument 1989. Professor Milua has provided funds for the establishment of the monuments Humanistica 1990-1991. The abstract metal sculpture was designed by local artists Sergei Alipov and Pavel Shevchenko and appears to be an explosion or branches of a tree. Petrograska embankment is the street where the Nobel family lived until 1859. Criticism. Alfred Nobel has also criticized it for his leading role in the manufacture or sales of weaponry, and focus has been given to the question of the prizes being intended to improve his reputation in that regard. 
For more information on references, see the web page. Thank you.